in this video, rather than a jam tart, I thought I'd show you a lemon curd tart, which are some of my mum's favourites. So we're going to start by making the base, just like you would with a proper with a proper tart, I'm led to believe I'm not a baker. I'm going to make the base and then we're going to add the filling. Again, I've got about a metre or so, maybe a metre and a half of cream Nymo D. I've got a size 10 needle and I've got approximately 15 centimetres of tail left behind a keeper bead. So you're going to need approximately 60 or so beads for the base. So I'm using DB 1833F um, because I liked the colour. Um, I like my pastry slightly on the well done side. So if you want to use a paler colour to be more accurate, then, then go ahead. You're going to need 12 delicas in the yellow or the red if you're going to make the jam tart. And then you need around about 40 or so of the 15s in a matching colour. If you can get a matching colour, that's perfect. If not, what I'd do is i go for a slightly darker shade on the, uh, the Delica bead and then the paler one in the middle. And then it'll almost look like the edge of the, the filling has maybe just started to catch. So if you're as bad a baker as I am, then that will look awfully familiar to you. So this is made with a variation on circular peyote. We're going to start by picking up three beads. And we're going to join those into a, well, technically it's not a circle, but we'll call it a circle. It's got three sides. And bring those round so that you end up with three beads sitting around. Then we're going to do an increase row. So we're going to pick up a pair of beads to sit in each gap between the stitch. So there's one. Two. And three, pull those through and just use your thumbnail, just tell them where you want them to sit. So there we go. So we've increased there from three beads in the round to six beads in the round. And now what we're going to do is add a bead into every gap. So we're going to add one between the pair in the middle of the pair and then one between the pair. So again, we're going to add six beads in this round. Try not to catch my scissors. One more to add to split the pair and then a single bead in the gap there and step up. So that's six beads in that round. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add two beads into each gap again. So we're going to do a second increase. This will take us from six beads to 12. pair and again we're going to step up so into the last bead of the previous round and then just into the first bead of the pair of the first bead of the first pair we've just added it's much easier to do than it is to say and again we're going to go all the way around and we're going to um, increase um, by putting one bead in the gap uh, between the pairs and one in the pair again. So this will be another 12 beads that we add this time round. And I'm going to take care and do them all 
individually until I get into the flow and forget again. So do as I say, not as I do, and you'll get a much more even result. Now this flat circular peyote pattern you can actually keep going with um, and make it as big as you as big as you like and you, if you make it big enough you could end up with a plate to uh, put your cakes on. I will show you that in slightly more detail in a later video but it was just a thought that's occurred to me while I was doing this. So there we go, so that's now... 12 beads in every round and if I put that up against the one that we've got there you can see that that matches so that's the size of the base so what we're going to do now is we're going to do three plain rounds of peyote stitch and that will give us the wall the side of the the tart so again we're going to add 12 beads in a round here and we're going to do this three times round. Eleven, so one more bead to add in this round and then step up so that's the first round there now if you pull the thread slightly you'll find that the edge of the bead work starts to cup only a little bit it's not very noticeable on this first row but the second row it will be more obvious on so into the second row Thread cut around the edge of the table. And the edge of the mat. There we go, and you can see there that's already starting to cup much more. And I'm a third of the way round this this time round. So just work with a, a firmish tension.
mass speed of the round in and step up so that's two rounds completed so we'll just add a third round just to make sure it's nice deep filling on the on the pastry case you can do just two rounds if you prefer it's it's entirely up to you if you want to keep going and make a deep world pie then i'd love to see your pictures of that so if you want to find us and post it on our social media i'd love to see what you've done so Last stitch and there we go there we have our little pastry case ready for a filling what we're going to do is we're going to add a single round using the delicas so as I said I'm using the yellow this time round for lemon curd um, previously I did use a red for jam um, I suppose you could use uh, an orange if you if you want apricot jam but these are fantasy tea party uh, foods so of course you can use whatever color takes your fancy you could do a halloween theme and have some green and orange cupcakes if you did it with uh white chalk white beads and then put a a size six in the middle on the top you could make a little cherry bakewell um, if you uh, if you fancy it there's no end to your variations so but ideally as I say you do want a Delica and a 15 that's going to if not match exactly then at least be close because that way it's going to look like one whole filling and step up there okay so that's our that's our outer edge of lemon curd added so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch to the size 15s and this first row of size 15s will pull the work inwards so it's sort of decreasing by changing the size of your beads rather than by changing the number of your beads so I'm popping 12 of these all the way around. I'm still using a size 10 needle here and I should be, whoops, that 15's got a slightly narrower hole. I should be able to continue to use a size 10 needle to the end of the work. If it does start to get a bit tight, if you find that your beads aren't going through or you're having to, it feels like you're having to force them through, then just switch your needle to a finer needle. So a size 12 or a size 13, something like that will do the job perfectly well. I mean, you could do the whole thing with a finer needle if you like, but I do have a tendency to bend them, which is why I use the the thickest needle I can get a hold of. So so two more beads on this round. There 
go. And you can see, if I just pull that firmly, you can see it started to pull in. So it's essentially, if you've ever done a bezel around a river lake with, um, with Delicas and 15s, you, it's basically the same technique there, just without the sparkly bead in the middle. So the next row round we're going to do, we're going to have to start decreasing because there isn't going to be room for all the beads to fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one, 15, I'm going to go through the next one on the round and then through the one after that. So making a little gap. And we're going to do that all the way around. So. This will start to decrease a bit more quickly. So three. Two. Now, I'm going through both beads at once here because um, I've done this more times than I care to admit to. If you would prefer or if you find it easier to go through each bead individually, then do that as well. You've got to do what works best for you. Just because this is the way that works for me doesn't mean it's going to be the way that works for everyone. Um, so through, whoops two there's me saying it's easier and then making a hash of it so we've got uh, where are we there's our first bead of the round so one more to add so oops there's a hole there that's not right then, something, no it is. Yes, that's the end of the row. And then we're going to step up. And there you can see we've decreased. In the same way we increased on the other side, we went from uh, 6 to 12. On this side, we've now gone from 12 to 6. So on the in the from the reverse, we're now going to add just one bead into each of these gaps. Again, we're working with the size 15s. Six, so into that one and up through the first bead that we added on that round. Okay, so there you can see the decreasing again. Now we'll just work one plain round again. So just adding six beads into each gap. Find where the beads are hiding. Oops. not the right bead that's the right bead now when you get in this close it is entirely possible you're going to lose your step up a little bit but to be honest with that near the middle that as long as you're in roughly the right place it's not the end of the world so now we're just going to go through these beads again mm. 
stick it out the middle of the oh my pie's sunk in the middle there it is Okay, so there we go. It's a little bit like my baking. It's a tiny bit rough and ready in the middle. But there you've got your lemon curd tart and your jam tart. So I just re-thread my needle because it's come undone. And then we'll finish off these thread ends. There we go. And then we'll just come out. Probably better off not to finish your thread off in the middle of that, the 15s, just because there's not as much room to get through the beads. So if you end up with a, a knot blocking the hole, it can make it a little bit awkward. So I'll just come down and then go through some of these delicas on the side here. Just double back on myself. Right, so make a figure of eight through a couple of beads. Like that. And that is that end nice and secure. So we can trim that off. And then we'll do the same on this end. So undo the keeper bead. And I'm just going to run through all three of those beads in the centre there again. It's just because of the tension the beads are under, it's just come a little bit loose on the bottom. We don't want a, a soggy bottom. So there, so that's gone through them again. That's pulled it nice and tight. And then work through a few beads. There. And again, just work through. Some of the beads on the side and back on yourself. And back in the other direction. And then trim that off. And there you have it. You can have a lemon curd tart or a jam tart. <laughs>